So it's a, it's kind of awkward that I'm now making a review of these two cars from a um a sponsor, a shady sponsor I should mention that screwed a driver's career. Um <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I got right here the two DC solar cars from NASCAR from the NASCAR Authentics Waves uh wave 3 and wave 4. And the funny thing is about these two cars is that um, I don't know. Okay, so for these two cars, like I okay, like I said before, I forgot to review them. So yeah, I mean, okay, honestly, the Kyle Larson DC Solar cars, the the this one right here, I was thinking about not reviewing it, considering that, I mean, the, the car is pretty much pointless. But I mean that, but but, but, but I mean, for the Vegas Strong car. I definitely knew I was going to review it, but I just didn't know kind of when, but I don't know. So now it's official. I'm now going to review both of these two Kyle Larson cars. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So I guess we'll start off with the Kyle Larson um, right here, the Vegas Strong Car. So the Vegas Strong Car right here, um, like I said, it was released in NASCAR the next wave number three. And, um, like with Wave 3, I didn't find this car until August, which wasn't around the time Wave 3 came around. So, yeah, I got the car pretty late. But anyways, as I, but anyways, um, I was gonna, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I was going to say that the premise really of this car is that in the previous year before, in 2017, um, there were there there was a shooting that happened at a happened in Las Vegas. Someone was sniping down people from a hotel room, and yeah, it was um yeah pretty dark day. And so this car was supposed to um was supposed to pay tribute to those people that lost their lives and um whatnot. So yeah now plus i mean even though dc solar is a shady company probably just one of the shadiest companies in nascar well maybe then maybe worse than maybe rich energy or i don't know uh, something else but rich energy story is a whole different other thing but um this is a really nice looking car this car is just beautiful i everything about this car i just absolutely love about i mean and to be quite honest, the green, the green, the Monster Energy playoff stuff, it doesn't really bother me. And actually, here's something else that doesn't act, and that's something else I'm going to mention to you. Any of the playoff markings on the cars don't really bother me. I honestly kind of like it. You know, I mean, some say it ruins the paint scheme, but I mean, I don't care. I mean, hell, they used to do this when uh, with the Winston, when people were back in the Winston Cup days. I mean... Literally, when they would, or well, I'll say this. So when we had the Winston Million, you know, where um, drivers would be um, eligible for the Winston to win the one million dollars, they would paint their or have their cars with a orange spoiler or splitter. Yeah, basically, uh, orange splitter, orange spoiler, red and orange numbers on the top, and it doesn't really bother me. I mean, they used to do this a long time ago, but um. Yeah, but as you can see, really the main, the DC Solar car is really not that too different than this one, actually. They're almost pretty much similar, but this has a few reverse colors here or there, you know, to make it look uh, different and stand out there to all the other cars. But, I mean, yeah, just a very, very nice just looking scheme overall. So let's just go over the sponsors here real quick. So on the windshield right here, there's nothing, of course. You got a um, black and white American flag. You got Vegas strong right there in blue. You got the Camaro front nose. You got the green sp splitter. 42 ZL1 Chip Ganassi Racing. Mug, Mahal, Comp, Edel, Brock, Sanunco. Goodyear, the Goodyear Eagle Tires. Lettering right there. A white um, pointy thing going up there. Lincoln, Walders, Flowmaster, Mechanics, Wear 3M. Uh, blue stripe going across there, light blue stripe, as, as as a matter of fact. 
You got the Kyle Larson logo or the emoji. You got the um, California State flag just with Kyle Larson. So that's pretty cool. You got uh, round of 16 logo. Kyle Larson. Cessna, Coca-Cola, First Data. Uh, Freightliner, McDonald's, 42. First Data. Sherman Williams. I don't know what else that says. You got DC Solar right there. Crew One Bank. Uh, got a stupid ass hair there. You didn't see anything there, but I got Credit One Bank, American Ethanol. I got 42 DC Solar, DC Solar right there. Green spoiler, DC Solar back there. A lot of DC Solar. So yeah. So that's the Kyle Larson Vegas strong car, and now let's take a look at the Kyle Larson DC Solar car that was supposed to run in the 2019 season. But then we all know what happened with DC Solar and you know all this and all that stuff. So um, uh yeah. But this paint scheme actually did run in one 2018 race, and that race being the Daytona Clash. So yeah, it only ran in one race, the Daytona uh, Clash. And then afterwards, they really didn't run another scheme because they changed it up. They changed the scheme up a little bit and then all that stuff, which um. I don't know. I like the paint. I did like the DC Solar scheme that they used primarily from last year. I mean, it was a good scheme to say the least. You know? And this scheme actually did run in a few Spidey Eagle Cup Series races. This in the in the Coke and no, in the Daytona July race I had and also in the final finale, the Charlotte Roval. See how, like I said, it's almost, in terms of design, it's almost the same like the Vegas Strong Card, but there are a few differences. So as you can see, just the front half is white and the back half is blue with a little deep designs here and there. So yeah, and just the funny thing was about this car was that is that Lionel was able to make it in, in the NASCAR Authentics, which was kind of weird. Oh, the, the 42 logo seems a bit off. Oh yeah, the 42 is a bit off. You can see it's more slanted in the middle and up a little bit on this side. Now on the back, it's just down, like down to the to down there. So yeah. And uh, wow, the headlights right here are overlapping the DC Solar logos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm already pointing out some bad defaults on this car and, and stuff I didn't even see. Like crap. But anyways, let's just go over the car here. I don't know. If we got just the DC Solar logo. We got the Chevy Camaro front nose. 42, Mog, Comp, Edelbrock, no, Mog, Mahal, Comp, Edelbrock, Sunoco. Same shit on the other side. Goodyear, the Goodyear lettering. Oh my god, the Eagle logos are scraped off. You got Lincoln, well, Lincoln Weller's Flowmaster 3M. Got the pointy uh, thing going up right there. You got a light blue stripe. You got a blue in the background, 42. Kyle Larson, Cessna, Coca-Cola, First Data, Freightliner, McDonald's. DC Solar right there. Credit One Bank, American Ethanol, Gas Cap. 42, DC Solar. DC Solar on the deck lid. DC Solar on the back. I already mentioned the um, errors back there. Overlapping with the DC Solar. Logos with the tail with the tail lights. And, oh my god, there's some weird thing going on with the mold here. And, yeah, this there's a scrape right there. So, uh, yep, I mean, Lionel's quality is showing here once again. And also, before I do end the video off, um, here are the accessories that it come with. So, we got the magnet right there with Vegas Strong. We just got a DC Solar one magnet one, one right there. So, yeah. So anyways, uh, these two cars, I mean, um, uh, I decided to review both of these really because they were both DC solar cars. And plus, like I said in the video, I did forget, I forgot to review these cars. So now, hey, I now review them and the review and they should be, or how does I say this? Or let me see. They should, um... I know you can get this Kyle Larson car, or the, the Vegas Strong car, probably um, your local diecast dealer, or probably you can just maybe find it on eBay if you just want it. Pretty sure it's on eBay. And also for the Kyle, but for this one, 
It is an NASCAR Authentics exclusive, so if you didn't get the card out in Wave 4, then I don't know why you didn't. So anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And with that being said, I will see all of you in the next, in the next video. Bye. This has got to be one of the worst reviews I've ever done. I'm reviewing in a very, very cold room, and my voice is a little bit messed up, so I'm sorry.